Soul Food for Miami, coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Today, Miami Ribs gets a treatment of flavoring from Seoul, Korea. We're doing Korean style Miami Ribs. Incredible. <laughs> they are so delicious. You're going to want to check out this full story at weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, subscribe. Look for this video and over 400 others on our dedicated YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel as well. And then finally, take a picture of these ribs when you make them. Post them using a hashtag weekend at the cottage on your favorite social media platforms like Pinterest, the Gram, Facebook, and Twitter. Up here in cottage country, ribs are always welcome. I love this recipe for beef short ribs. Easy to make, but truly it's all about the flavor. We're gonna start with the main ingredient, which is beef short ribs. Notice how kind of thinly sliced there are. You'll see two little bones in there. Two pounds of beef short ribs for the recipe. I'm placing them into a bowl and then adding four cups of water. Cover the bowl, set those soaking ribs to the side. Now we're gonna make our Korean inspired marinade. I have a small bowl, I'm adding half a cup of soy sauce. Quarter cup of beef stock. A brilliant nutty flavor coming from two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. One tablespoon Thai fish sauce. One tablespoon of mirin, which is a sweetened sake. Excellent flavor pairing, we're adding two tablespoons of finely chopped garlic, about a two inch knob of peeled ginger, also finely chopped, a touch of sweetness in this marinade, a quarter cup of dark brown sugar, also a quarter cup of finely chopped green onions, about four green onions went into this marinade. I'm adding half a teaspoon of black pepper, Whisk those ingredients, your marinade is good to go. After your ribs have soaked for 30 minutes, we drain away the water. We're now gonna transfer those soaked ribs onto a paper towel and then just dab them dry. I then transfer them into a recycled vegetable bag. This works really well. Place the ribs into the bag and then add your marinade. Then we're gonna gather up the bag, squeeze out the air, tie the bag off, and then we're gonna let the ribs marinate for four hours. If they marinate for longer, it will only taste better just saying. Now when you're ready to grill, we're going to take the ribs out of the bag, discard that marinade. We're heading to grill. Our grill is preheated to 500 degrees. Lid goes up, place the ribs down, and then shut the lid. We're going to let these cook for about two, two and a half minutes. You'll see when I lift the lid and now turn them beautiful grill marks on the ribs. Cook for an additional two minutes. Take your ribs off the grill, bring them into your workstation. Last couple of things we need to do, what you really want to do right now is dig in, but you can't yet. Do a couple more things. We're placing the ribs onto a cutting board. Taking a sharp knife, we're cutting down into the ribs. You've got a little piece of bone, a big piece of tender meat. We're going to transfer those chopped ribs onto a plate. I put usually four or five down, then a sprinkling of green onion, do a sprinkling of, watch this, toasted sesame seeds, add more ribs, more garnish, and you're left with a mile high stack of these very tender, very delicious Korean style Miami ribs. You can serve these for lunch, for dinner, an afternoon snack down by the dock. I love taking bowls of steamed rice, add a couple of these ribs on top, same garnish, and then a squeeze of shirach. This makes for one tasty meal. Korean style, Miami ribs, get going and make them. You're gonna love them uh, as much as I do, I know. Until next time, take care, we'll see you again. Mm, they're so tender, it's just so beautiful, mm, good.